Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be installing a low-profile graphics card on a Dell Inspiron desktop. If you're not sure what model that is, if you turn it around, take a look at the back of your desktop. Mine is the Inspiron 3020, and let's go ahead and get started. So this desktop here does not come with, with the graphics card. It has the built-in Intel CPU. So the graphics card here is kind of ready for you to upgrade. Now there is a downside of the graphics card that you can install. Let me kind of introduce you the two different type of graphics card. One of them is the high-end graphics card. I know this is not the high-end graphics card, but I'm just trying to give you an example here. The high-end graphics card requires a power pin connector. It could be six, it could be eight, or it could be, you know, it needs a power pin to power up a a high-end graphics card. A low-profile graphics card, which is like this, the low-profile graphics card does not need any power to power up to run it. It would just using the motherboard to extract the power and you can use it right out the box. So this desktop here, the Dell Inspiron, does not have the extra PCIe pin. So the only thing that we can use would be the low-profile graphics card. All right, so let me show it to you what is inside the computer. Um, if you want to take a look, the USB port or the motherboard side is down on the table. And then the one on the other side is where the side panel. Once you unscrew the two screws, you can slide it to the left and, it, and you can just remove the uh, side panel. Okay, once you have done with that process, now let's take a look at the power supply. This Dell power supply, the only thing that comes out of it would be those cables here. And there's no PCIe 6-pin connector or 8-pin connector which allows you to install uh, the graphics card. That's the only one slot PCIe available and there's no additional power cable allows you to do that. Right, so the only thing that is extra is the uh, SATA cable to power up the hard drive. Now to install the graphics card, that eliminates the possibility of installing the high end. The only thing available would be the low profile graphics card here. So before you install it, what you have to do is to go ahead and open up that little bracket here. So this bracket, you can easily slide out. Once you remove the bracket, align your graphics card, and then you can just push it in to install, like so. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close the uh, the bracket and the side panel to cover up the desktop. Okay, so that is the only disadvantage of this desktop here is you cannot upgrade to the high-end graphics card. Um, but if you're interested to find out what type of graphics card is available, it's more likely the GTX, the 1000 series, maybe the 1050 or the 1060, maybe the 1050 Ti, uh, things like that. So if you're not sure, where to buy or what to get, uh, check the link down description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the graphics card that can match to your Dell Inspiron desktop. And once you install the graphics card, the next step you need to have is to install the drivers. And usually it comes with a CD or something you can download off the website. Thanks for watching, until next time, and all I'm asking is just uh, give me a thumbs up, give a like if you enjoyed the video, and always thank you again.